Jake, congratulations. Just how special a night was that for you? Yeah, really special. I think it's a night I dreamed of since I was younger and obviously to get the nod to start and I can only go out there and try and take the opportunity and get a goal. I don't know, it's really special for me, so I'm really happy. I think we could see from your face what it meant to you after you scored that, just what was going through your mind at that point and, and how did it feel? Yes, I, I hit the ball nicely, but I thought it might have been seen over. But once it's gone in, I, I sort of run off to the corner. Off. I didn't know where I was going. I didn't know what I was going to do. I was debating a knee slide, but I to celebrate it with people I've grown up with. Yeah, it was really special. Yeah, I was going to say there was quite a few of the guys on the pitch that, that's come through the academy with you, Harry, Matt, James Ward Price as well. It, it must have made it kind of extra special to celebrate with them. Yeah, of course. I mean, there's not many other clubs that happens at and see. Rita and Prousey are a year older, but Matty I've played with since I was seven, eight years old, and it's, you know, it's, it's very surreal, yeah. And the goal's one thing, but just how pleased were you with your all-round contribution, because you produced a lot of good passes out there, created chances, just how pleased were you overall with how you played? Yeah, I was happy with how I played. I thought, yeah, I created a few chances and I've sort of gotten around it. Obviously, there's areas I'd like to improve on, but obviously the goal tops it off, definitely. How important was a night like this for you as well? You started the season really well with the under-23s to come here in a first-team game and play like this and score. Just how crucial was that for you? Yeah, it's massive. Like you can, there's only like you can show what you can do at under-23 level now, but you've got to show once you get an opportunity you can take it. And listen, there's not loads of opportunities flying about, so you've got to grasp it when it comes. You think back to your last first-team appearance. You played away at Burnley. You got injured very early on. It really didn't turn out to be the great day you hoped it would be. How special is tonight when you reflect back on on that? Yeah, I think it's made it a little bit, a little bit more special. Like obviously getting a sniff, getting a taste, and then obviously 20 months or whatever away from it, it's made me really, really like determined to get back in the round on a regular basis, and not just to be oh, a few injuries. Like I want to cement myself in the squad, and then cement myself in the team, and that, to do that, I've got to take every opportunity I can. Yeah, was it sort of important to, to prove to yourself maybe as, as much as the manager and the coaching staff that you could do it at this level? Yeah, a little bit. I, see, I have belief in myself that I can play at 23's level. I've done, done that for a couple of years and I think it's just, as you grow up through the academy, it's always that next step up. It's like before you've done it, it's like, can you do it, can you do it? And then maybe the Burnley game was a bit like, oh, maybe... Maybe not quite, but obviously tonight's given me good confidence and I just need to take that forward for the rest of the season. Yeah, is this a platform for you now? Is that the way you've got to look at it, a platform to build from going forwards in the, the next couple of months? Yeah, of course. I mean, it's one game at the end of the day, but I've got to use it and use sort of the confidence it will bring me and produce on a regular basis and obviously impress the manager so that he has the faith in me to play me.